Hi guys, this is Jiggy, a portrait and wedding photographer from the Philippines and welcome to the channel. This today is going to be a very, very special episode because for us photographers, we have our own specialty and it's always fun to learn something new. You know, I'll give you a little backstory. I started shooting. I started photography only because I wanted to shoot my kids. And with when everything was said and done, I ended up shooting weddings. And there's one thing that I never really got to do properly, which is I don't know what you call it. I'm actually here with Stanley Ong. Stanley Ong is one of the premier blank photographers in the Philippines because I don't know how to call it. Do we call it child photography? It it sounds very. Um, I don't know. I don't know how Maybe you would call family it. Family portrait photography. Family, family portrait photography, but then that would entail. So how would family. you call this genre of photography? Kids, babies, marami. Pwede family, yeah. kids, depending on what I shoot siguro. Okay, so, all right. So one of the hardest things for me when I was shooting, when I would try to shoot, is how to shoot my two-year-old or my three-year-old. So I'm here with Stanley now asking for help. Maybe he could actually teach me and share with you guys some of the tips and tricks that he's learned through the how many years of you shooting kids. So I've st I started shooting kids way back 2007. Oh wow, so I, I wasn't even in photography <laughs> then. <laughs> I was, no, I was a hobbyist for the longest okay, time. Okay, all and right. Then, uh, Aren't two, we all hobbyists? Yeah, we started, most of us yeah, started Yeah, we're all hobbyists. professional hobbyists. And then, yeah. un until we got... Uh, we ex we have we have spent so much for our <laughs> equipment, so we started think I started thinking maybe I should try something different. Yes, yes. So I went professionally even before shooting kids. And so what were you doing then? I was shooting portraits, interiors. Okay. Uh, this was. I even when? tried wedding. This is when two thousand. Two thousand five. Okay. Two thousand five. I started when I shifted to digital. Actually. Okay. So you started with film. I started with film way back okay. two thousand one. Okay. So the learning curve was different. Oh yeah. So no, it but longer. Of course, but film is fantastic. Film is still film is a good fantastic. discipline. I feel okay. that uh, now that I'm teaching photography, okay. I feel na parang I was fortunate enough na dumana ko na film. Kasi yeah. It, it helped me with the discipline of shooting okay. correctly. Okay. Yes. And that's what I teach always. I, I, parang, uh, I teach my students, my participants, that you have to shoot it correctly. Yes. You know, don't, don't, waste, don't waste memory, although memory cards now are cheaper. <laughs> don't waste memory, don't waste time, yeah. and then don't waste time editing as well. No, that's true, that's true. So, um, well, I never started with film. I started in 2008, okay. towards the tail end of 2008. So I'm relatively younger than you when it comes to <laughs> photography. Um, but of course, then the learning curve was so much faster. Correct. Because everything was digital, and that was the height of forums. And Correct. everybody was everybody was just teaching everyone yes this is the reason on why i actually put up this channel okay because i want to pay it forward meaning the things that i learned i learned from people selflessly sharing their knowledge Correct. so here i am trying to share as much knowledge as i can but of course there's some instances that i can't share anything like for example this one yeah. i want to shoot the kids we're going to be shooting my kids later stanley's going to help me out yeah. um but it's not something that i'm really i'm really versed at doing well, it's always the same. So, I want to pay forward yeah. also. Okay, myself. fantastic. That's why when I, when I was given the opportunity to talk in public, okay. which I don't talk in okay. public when okay. way, way back. So when I got the opportunity, parang, in my first few talks, I had to force myself to okay. talk. But now okay. that I love teaching, pala, I like teaching, mm -hmm. so parang, uh, nasanay na rin. Yes. No? So uh, paying forward is the right. Paying forward, I... I Teach not just kids, okay. kids photography, not kids, kids photography. Okay. Uh, I also teach food. Okay. I also teach. Yes, I've portrait, actually seen no? of some of your work. You guys so. should check him out, Stanley Ong, a very very versatile yeah. photographer. Now, how did you end up? How did you end up shooting kids? Okay, back to two thousand seven. That's the year I got married. Okay. But before that, a friend of mine. I'm from Cebu, so a friend of mine asked me. Oh, you're from Cebu? Yeah. I didn't know that. Okay, from Cebu. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> so I, a friend of mine asked me if I can open up a studio for kids okay. there. Okay. So I tried looking, uh, searching around here in Manila, na what uh, does kids studio. Okay. Observing and studying them. 
Then I realized, okay, I'm based in Manila. I cannot really set up a studio there. All right. And then I got married. Uh, another friend of mine asked me also to start. Parang, okay. Parang, okay. <laughs> something. All right. Something's happening. All right. No? So that year we started the studio, and that year also I had my first baby. Okay. Yes. So yes, everything yes. came to place. I said, okay. okay, let's try doing kids. Didn't you so, get scared shooting your baby? Um, How old was she then? Newborn. No, I'm no my newborn. kid was born end of that year, December. Okay. So, but right. so I, when we started the kids' studio, I didn't have a baby yet. Yes. Okay. And that year, I didn't do newborn. Oh, okay. Yes. Yes. Um, <laughs> <good>. I didn't <laughs> do newborn. Yeah, newborn. Newborn. I'm like so afraid to touch uh, yeah. the baby and do but, all but those But I. What's nice is when I had the first baby, I took care of her for the first. Two weeks. Okay. It was me changing everything. Okay. Uh, yes. Dad. That, first time dad. That that's that's. <laughs> you know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Anna. I'm sorry, my kids. <laughs> but your eldest, I did all of those. Yeah. But my second and third, no more. <laughs> so I got the feel. Okay, yeah. I can handle a baby, pala. Yes. When I people ask me like uh, the up and coming, the new photographers okay. who wants to go wants to go into kids photography. Okay. I don't discourage. I always encourage. But if they can delay the newborn, okay, like learn older kids first. Yes, because s- s- newborns are more sensitive, more fragile. Yeah. yeah. So I ask them. I always tell them to s- to start with older kids, All right. Because uh, when me when I started kids photography, it took me three to four years before I offer shooting newborn for clients. Okay. No? I, so I you, understood because yeah. it's. I it, tried shooting newborns and it, I shot them with flash yeah. and people got mad at me. Yes. Because you're not yeah, supposed you to shoot to, them with you flash. You have to understand that as especially in a new time, uh, new, uh, what's this? Uh, first time parents. Yes. First time yes, parents are yes. always very, you know, yeah, well, they're, yeah. they're very sensitive on those things. Yeah, it like was. They, they, it's their first time to have a baby and part of us as a photographer also. That's our job to make them comfortable. Okay. So. Shoot, um, there is a myth that you shouldn't shoot newborns with flash. Is okay. there is there any truth to that? Okay, for the past twelve more okay. than a decade of okay. shooting newborn, uh, there's no instances that something bad happened to the newborn. So, uh, so well, we're good. It's, it's <laughs> we're good. Okay, we're, we're definitely good. But of course, we have to consider also the parents. Okay, if they're not comfortable. With, with the flash, then you shouldn't. Because okay. I want them to ex- to enjoy the experience also. Oh, that, that's if nice. They're, if they're uh, if they're tense and then if they're worried during the shoot, that's what I I, I don't like that kind of feeling. In the, the atmosphere. Understood. Yes. The atmosphere as a photographer, of course, you get also tense. Yes, of course. You course. know, the parents is looking back at you. So I make everybody comfortable. In so the how shoot. do you do that? So if they don't want, I use available light. Okay. I use continuous light. No, aside from the light, how it's a general. Okay. It's a general thing that you have to be able to create that ambiance, right? Yes. We're talking about newborns okay. now. Well, newborn. We start newborn. Yeah, we'll we'll start with okay. newborns. Yeah. Okay. So you create a general ambiance yeah. for your shoot by doing things like what? Okay. Number one is understand first if the parents are if they're first time parents. Okay. They're more. You know, you have to be careful of what you do. Okay. Number one, what I do is I sh- tell them. I prep them. Okay. Uh, I talk to them beforehand. Okay, we're gonna be. It's gonna be. Is this on the day of the shoot or prior to uh, the shoot itself? Usually, it's on the day. Okay. Uh, on the day, I just prep them. Just when when my assistants are setting up. Okay. I talk to the parents. Okay. I sit down with them. No shooting yet. Uh, I talk to them. Okay, it's gonna be. Take it might take a while. Okay. Because uh, not all babies are the same. Yeah. I'm uh, sure. Even their I'm newborn, sure. if they're asleep, personalities are already there. Even with newborns. With newborn. Okay. Number one example example is uh, some babies are light sleeper. Okay. Yeah. Some babies wants to be carried the whole time. Okay. No? All right. I so, get it. So I tell them, okay, I have to find out. What so you ask is. the parents. Yeah. yeah so parents I ask them, this. okay, are they light sleeper? Are they? Have they been brought out? Okay. Yeah. Things like that. Simple yes. questions like yes. that. And then number one is I also want to get to know the parents. All right. Okay. Uh, from there is. Uh, then we work. I, I win their trust. Okay, some even some parents are even surprised that I can handle a baby as I'm a so it's a big guy <laughs> male photographer, yes, yes, right? Yes, so yes. usually, and then I handle them. Okay. Uh, so I make sure that they're comfortable. 
Okay. That's the most important. Understood. I want everybody in the shoot to be comfortable. Okay, yeah. with newborns, the I feel personally, I think from from my attempts to do that, my biggest problem with my kids was that I was so afraid to move them, thinking that I might break their bones. Right. Correct. Um, but it seems that newborns are more flexible. They're easier to actually manipulate, if you want to use that term. Uh, yes, that's true. There, that's why we want. That's why usually. For newborn photography, it's between uh, between twelve days old. Okay. Because they're uh, most of the time they're asleep, and then okay. they're more flexible compared okay. to. But still, even though they're more flex flexible, they're still fragile. Okay. Yes. Uh, of course. Yes. So do not sometimes do not they they go against like the position you want them okay. to do. They won't like it. Okay. And you can feel naman. Uh, you can feel when they don't like it. Okay. So don't there's, force there's it. There's a bit of resistance. Resistance okay. and the, they will react. Okay. So you have to also take into consideration the baby. They will react. Even though they're asleep, they will react. Okay. Simple like, uh, like they, sound like uh, they cry yes. or they make sound. Yes. If they make grunting sound, okay, okay, don't force it. Stop and then just go okay. back to where you go. All right. Start from the beginning. Don't rush it because okay. they're as fragile as they can be. <laughs> yeah. All right, perfect. That's beautiful, beautiful words of advice. And we're just in newborns. Yeah, we're just in newborns. And newborn. today, um, I'm asking Stanley to teach me how to shoot my kids, a three year old and a two year old. Okay. Um, my boy is hitting two, and okay. they, you know that they're saying about a terrible two, right? Terrible. And I think I have my daughter's a terrible three. So <laughs> now, the, bigot, the, the hardest thing that I would always. Um, I would always try to shoot them. So my challenges all the time okay. is how to keep them still. Ah, uh, okay. Right? Keeping kids still is... Almost impossible. It's impossible. <laughs> okay. It's, so, what I say is also, let, let's kids be kids. Okay. No? Uh, I'm sure you're used to, cli to, to uh, clients that stay put. Yes. Your wedding, wedding yes, clients yes, stay put. Yes, exactly. There's some that just can't sit down. You cannot yes. do that with kids. Okay. You can try to trick them. Okay. All right. To stay put for a while. Okay. But ten minutes is long enough for kids. Okay. So five minutes is sometimes is enough for me to okay. get, take good shots. Really? Yes. So what you're what you're saying is that you do all your setup first, do all your light test, fix everything, yes. and how do you prepare the kids now for that five minutes that you're shooting? Okay. The the prep the prep. You're right. I prep everything first. Yes. Before I arrive to shoot, I already envision myself what equipment I'm going to use. Okay. If I'm shooting outdoor or indoor, what okay. lenses I will be using. Okay, all right. If I'm using artificial light, what lights I'm going to be okay. using, the setup and everything. Okay. That's why I love using single light setup during shooting kids. Okay. Uh, during my shoot because, as you said, they move a lot. If they move yeah. to one place or another, if I have a multiple setup, I have to move everything. Yes, right? yes, understood. So I, lim I try to, s to set up the simplest light setup that I can do, which is one light. If, okay, if course, available yes. light, then perfect. Yes, it's a lot easier, right? Yes, yes. but uh, we're in a country that our, yeah, <laughs> our available light lights is, never really that is, good. Is, yeah. Yeah. So, so with, with your single light setup, now that you bring up the, yeah. the equipment that you're using, are you shooting on manual or TTL? I shoot manual. But how, how is that when they start moving closer to the light and everything? I position, I position my light okay. where uh, that it covers a bigger range. Okay. So I bring back my light, use a, a, a bigger, bigger modifier. modifier. Okay. So I have a wider range to cover. Okay. So wherever they move. Yes. Guys, <laughs> all right. What Stanley said is the practical application of what is called the inverse square law. So the inverse square law actually states <laughs> that the closer your light is to the subject, the more contract, the more the faster the fall off will Correct. be. The further the light is, the bigger spread, the bigger um, allowance you have to get the same exposure. Correct. The downside with that is that if you want softer light and having your light so far is that you need a very big light source. Correct. Because the uh, further your light is, the smaller it gets. For you to be able to get soft light, then you have to have big light. Yes, that's why yeah. and I buy my modifier. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So today, <laughs> so you would suggest today that... Well, let's try to give us a big modifier. Okay. Dep it depends. Okay, if uh, your kids will stay put, uh, we can control Okay, the light. I, if I, I they seriously don't. doubt that. I seriously, I seriously, seriously doubt that. Maybe the girl might, okay. but the boy, I doubt uh, it. I we'll see. Okay, then so how else do you prep them? Bringing props also, okay, how to make them stay put, 
I bring out a chair. Okay. I bring out an apple box. Okay. I let them sit first. Okay. Chances are they'll stay put for okay. a minute or two. Okay. Before they they run out. They run out. So when they when they sit down for a minute, how many shots do you actually take? Remember, we were talking about the when you said earlier your approach to things is very similar to film. Correct. That you don't want to waste. Correct. You don't want to waste. So when so when you're shooting, I'm assuming you're not doing bursts. I don't do bursts. You don't do bursts. No, uh, I rely on my experience. The instinct of the when instinct the shot's when, gonna when, be there. When, uh, you know, okay. when I when I start shooting, if I know they're about to smile, okay. I'm ready with my camera. So you're never on a tripod. I'm never on a tripod. I try to avoid cables during okay. my shoots. All right. Because uh, number one, safety with the kids. Because they run around. Cable, yes, yes, they run right. around. They touch stuff that okay. we're not allowed to touch, like cables. Okay. Okay. And then when they pull it or they trip on it, okay. if this, the moment they hit their head or accident happens, okay. then the shoot is done. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's so true, right? You have to take that into consideration. So basically, also. your shoot is just five to ten minutes max? Well, I wish. <laughs> yeah, that, that wish it really yeah. happens that so way. So, happen, so what if that first five minutes you don't get it? How long do you have okay. to wait for the next opportunity to shoot? There, I... I I wait. Okay. I under I cause because I understand kids. Okay. So if they're in a bad mood, okay. two three years old, they need naps. Okay. Sometimes they get excited okay. for the shoot. They don't take their regular nap. Okay. So when they we start shooting, they're in a bad mood. Okay. So I, I usually tell the parents, it's okay. Let's let's have a quick power nap. For okay. The kid. And and in I the studio already, so they put them yeah. to sleep. And mostly I do home, home service. Oh, so that it's easier. So it's easier. They're, so, at yeah. they're, they're comfortable they're in their surroundings. Yeah. Oh, yes, so, understood. So, so you bring everything along. I bring. That's why I want simple setup also oh. <laughs> when I go to So homes, maybe, you know, I guess I set up something here thinking that we might actually use it. But when Stanley arrived, I'm sure everything's in your car. I have a couple of equipments there. So <laughs> you guys want to see you guys shooting? You guys want to see how Sandy actually sets up? And maybe we should actually start shooting. And I think why don't we? Why right? not? So let's let's talk. So okay, I'm a Sony ambassador. Um, Stanley's a uh, uh, Panasonic ambassador. But since he's the main man today. If you're going to shoot, we'll use your Panasonic. Okay. If I'm going to shoot, I'll use my Sony. All right, Sige. All right, so let's flip a coin. All right, Sige. Okay, all right, let's do this. Don't okay. Shoot first. All right. So, as discussed earlier, Stan said and suggested that we get the biggest light we have. And this is the biggest light that we have in the studio. It's a 190 cm Octabank reverse Octa from Elinchrome. Then, the light that we have inside is the is um, Pro Photo B2 with an adapter for Elinchrome. Stan suggested that I shoot it at f5.6 just to get everything clear. Yep. Okay. 5.6 so is okay. The bigger the light, it co the coverage is wider. So we have active kids around. So wherever they go, we're good. We're safe. It's covered. Huh? And these are my kids. Look at the way he's talking to my kids. I think he can get the attention of my kids better. Okay. And of course, guys, same rules apply. Even when you're shooting children, if you're shooting full body, camera level should always be waistline. If I'm shooting headshots, I'll be above them. I won't shoot them from below. Now, Wana, look here. Smile. Smile. Wana, how do you make yeah. How do you make them do that? Now. If they play around, open okay. their legs a lot, I you go close. Tight. Yes. Okay. Uh, we won't be able to use the money. Exactly. Close the exactly. Exactly. Uh, like say, there's a shy. One of the siblings are okay. shy. I try to bring in the others first. Okay. And if we still then get one of the, all of them together, I bring in one of the parents. Oh, okay. okay. So the parents should always be ready with me. Yes, they have to be ready. <laughs> so far. Okay. 
Okay, mommy, sit down. Sit down. Just sit down. Just sit down, mommy. You'll be part of the shot, but uh, if, if everything goes well. <laughs> so, if you noticed, um, it's really different when the person is so in love with what he is doing. The the passion that he has with when it comes to kids, it's different. Um, they are my kids, but I don't treat them that way whenever I'm shooting them. I'm actually more demanding of them. I tell them, no, you gotta do this, you gotta do this, you gotta do this, because that is what I'm used to. But he is so used to dealing with children that he's able to get it from them. And I think that is the reason why he is one of the best in the country. And at the same time, that's why this is the genre that he really ended up in. I think his personality is perfect for that of kids. Let's say, for example, I wanted to take pictures of Jaime, right. just Jaime. Would it be advisable for me to get rid of everyone and just keep Jaime here? Maybe uh, out of the bar, but maybe around. Around, around but then, you. because if you notice, the, the dynamics of the two kids is that they're just going to keep playing. So if, if now the, the, uh, that's why they're playing. If okay. you pull one out. Jaime is going to follow. She's going to look for them. Yes, Jaime is going to follow. He's going to look for them. But if we bring Jaime here alone, alone without any okay. of them, if prior to everything. But yes, we can bring in one by one. That's why it's nice to do it at home. Yes. So I can bring what, one kid Yes, at time. and one, one one's upstairs in the room. room. Yes, okay. now I get it. Because right now, it's going to be almost impossible for me to get one shot of Jaime alone. Yes. And one shot and, of Juana. And what's nice is uh, I don't really bring out toys. Okay. It gets distracting. Oh, all the while, I, all the while I think I thought that I bring, bring a, a toys. I bring just in small ones. Okay. So that it's if you need to take it out in oh, Photoshop, fantastic. it's small. Fantastic. I don't bring the big uh, inflatables, big oh. balls, no, just small ones. That's a lot of fun. Mm. Thank you very much, Stanley. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And <laughs> <laughs> look at that. And yes. Stanley's gonna be coming out to his own YouTube channel soon, right? Yep. So I'm gonna put the link in the description below so that you can follow Stanley on also amazing, amazing um, child photographer and also food and food, basically travel, everything. everything. Everything except wedding. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Maybe next time if you wanna do weddings, I'll be the one to teach you. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Right. Till the next video.